Couldn't help but notice that there was a new uh, equipment available to us. Because this, this store stocked itself up with level 8 equipment. So we'll be jumping from 33 damage to 36 on our spellcaster. And what are these? Minimum level 1, minimum level 6. So we can take this bronze bangle, replace it with a chrome one. Giving me 5 more defense, 2 more magic defense. And across the board I'll be taking this bronze from... Oops, and replacing them with chrome. The sham shear can be replaced by a bronze longsword for... 3 more damage. Hand daggers replaced with a chris for 9 more damage. This apparently didn't. This, per, this person apparently didn't even have a second bangle to wear. Um, I might want to have them equip the other chrome if I. No, I can't. Weird. It's only one only one item of each type per person because I couldn't equip a second chrome on that character. And then a magic flask. It's gonna be replaced with a. Uh, we're going from 27 to 36. There's still that old decanter taunting me down there. I used up my special currency on it without realizing it was level 24. One day, though, 46, di 46 attack. It's just just waiting for me. Anyway, we're updated with, with level 8 gear now, at least. Let's check out the Magion capital. This is nice. Something's going on at the plaza. New information might have come in. Go check it out later. Castle summon us to report. Yeah, it's the, it's the same stuff they said last time. There we go. Let's check out the market. They've messed up for research. So at the moment, I have almost 3,000 R. That's something, at least. Makes certain power, certain skills relatively powerful here. A lot of this equipment is pretty high level, though. Flamberge. Interesting. It's a weapon that would give my character five more defense, of all things. But this jack sword requires being level 35. I probably just should. I probably just won't try to use these currencies. It seems to mostly be usable for buying things that are well outside my range. You have accepted many special missions. Report your accomplishments to me. Many wars require superior numbers. More allies will bolster your strength. In recognition of your achievements, I grant you this. No need to be modest. Take it. It seems you are finished talking. I appreciate the recent support you've shown. Those with talent are always welcome here. Next up is Uldean's Descendants. Recommended level 9. Only one of my characters is level 9 right now. Two of them are level 8. Actually, I think the rest of them are level 8. Uh... I think they are. Yeah, everyone else is level 8. Two of them are like one fight away from being level 9 though, so I'm pretty okay with the recommended level right now. Especially since we've been kind of breezing through them so far. So, Uldan's descendants. North of the guild, in the ruins of the old empire, there have been sightings of old citizen, uh, civilians. They're most likely illegal diggers trying to steal goods. Dispatch immediately and police the ruins. Our goal is just to reach the target, as often is the case. Today is to prevent Old's illegal digging operations. The guild is responsible for overseeing the ruins of the Empire. Those who traffic or destroy artifacts within the ruins are punished without mercy. Old believes their claims of imperial lineage justify their wanton acts of vandalism. The guild cannot ignore this offense. They scoped out the area, boss. Those old guys are standing guard all over the place. If they catch us, they might try to run off with the stolen artifacts. But there are too many of them to try to sneak in unnoticed. Then we should take them out before they can alert their comrades. Who's there? Crap, were they spying on us? C Captain, we must chase after them at once! I mean, yeah, the idea that they were spying on us seems pretty straightforward. That seems to be what they do most of the time. Let's head on up. There's a tornado over there. Probably don't want to visit that. But the enemies are invisible, by and large. Please, you sure gave us a lot of trouble. We finally have you cornered. 
You guild rabble are irritating. We will not allow you to alert your comrades. You might as well surrender. Funny. I was thinking the same thing. You're the ones who will surrender. Oh, snap. Plot twist. The things that the characters that do nothing but scheme and ambush and hide. Uh, ambushed and schemed and hid. Oh, that's a big group. There's a lot of them. Straight for the leader, come on. Oh, that's bad. Didn't quite make the, sh make the cut there. Um, yeah, I'll just go for the closest one. Finish him! Alright, one down. Leader's not quite there. Might be able to follow up on that a little bit. Are uh, they doing this again? I don't really know what that attack does, but I walked right over it and nothing happened last time. Oh, they're invisible somewhere. My movement range might really give away where that is, though. Even they run over their own traps. I'm not really clear on how that works. I'll never find those secret, invisible, hidden guys. Especially not that one. How would I ever see though they were? Well, crap. This sucks. I'm just gonna point. I'm gonna throw my poison mist for fun. So I can't walk anymore. Can oh, I can walk. Never mind. I just need to walk away again. I just lose my ability to reset from that point on. From that point on, but I can still re reset o to that spot over and over again. Get him! Well, that looked like it hurt. I may have to end you for your proximity to me. If only I knew where their leader was. Don't suppose you'd just like step up. Oh, now it hurts me. Interesting. Is that where the leader is? Oh, well, let me attack if they don't, it doesn't see an, an enemy. All right. Oh, completely lost track of that one, didn't I? So unfortunately, if they're hidden, you can only really hit them with melee characters. Because if you try to use a non-melee character, it won't let you not launch the attack at all. Ow! I wonder if with if with Caltrops, there's only like a percent chance of it working or something. Just wondering why the rogue didn't take damage. It might just be because rogues don't take damage. Or something. All I know is I don't want her to do what she's doing right now. So she could just like cut that out. Ow. Oh. oh, assist. Good. You are now dead. The end. How does it feel to be deceased? Somewhere here there's a secret enemy. Ambush skills. Do not show any effect when activated, but when the enemy steps into range, they trigger. The similar traps, they're tough to activate, but they heal deal high damage to enemies, and I guess that's about to happen to me. Hi, ow. I am in pain. And now I will turn this pain to you, because you deserve it. Whoops. Speaking of pain, let's fix that. Oh, not quite. Can't really make it over there. Ow. How did I get hurt? I'm not near it. Maybe it's still bleeding from before. Careful. 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 Wow, I nailed it. I usually mess up when it's near the end of the range. He probably was taking continuous damage from the, ne the needle trap from having previously stepped on it. Like a bleed? Compliment me! Alright, so she's leveled up. Um... Honestly, hit points wouldn't hurt for some of these characters. I feel like we're falling behind on hit points compared to a lot of the enemies I see. Huh. You sure talked a big game. Captain, look over there! If we defeated these soldiers, why is there a signal fire? He called us guild rabble, didn't he? Boss, I think there are others from the guild who came here before we did. But who? I heard we were the only ones who had accepted this quest. If we go, we'll find out. If we stay here, they'll get away with the artifacts. Let's hurry over to the ruins, boss. 
I wonder if someone's up to no good. New location to go for. They seem to be mad at the guild, and we were supposed to be here to police, so I kind of wonder if somebody already came through but was awful instead. I kind of want to save up for Blizzard if I can, so let's just use a salve to heal. There we go. Most of the party should be... Yeah, they're basically full. Rogue's a little behind. Look when they stop, the rogue's so ha the rogue's so happy to be here. Look at her. <laughs> She's just sort of dancing back and forth and smiling. She's just so psyched about the whole thing. So there's a path to get there. Might have been through that tornado, but that would suck. Maybe the back road will make be on my access point. The color the colorful landscapes mixed with the random caches of crystals and stuff like that kind of reminds me of the um what uh, the Heroes of Might and Magic series. That actually has a similar setup of having two sides on the left and right fighting at each other, and the resources are just kind of really colorful and don't really mesh with the environment around them and stuff like that. So, these guys don't have a ton of hit points, do they? So maybe I am doing okay on hit points after all. Oh, add a meter. I was ready for the follow-up, but the follow-up was not to come. Ow, pain, everything hurts. downside of going first every time is that they can attack you like that. Definitely always makes it kind of tempting to hold back. Bonus damage versus ranged! Yeah! This person should be nice and in attackable range too. Um, let's do a little better than that. If he's right in the middle, I think he's more likely to get hit multiple times by it. Which really was the what devastates it, I think. Yep. Unfortunately, not really damaged to the health, but it, it unblocked him at least. Maybe I can take proper advantage. Oh yeah, this will hurt. Not as much as I was hoping, but it hurt at least. When my fighter gets his next turn, he'll get to target that guy. Ow! I guess I set myself up for that. One turn down. Alright, uh, self-heal. Just to pick up the pace a little bit. Finish him! I uh, accidentally queued up an extra attack, when I had no reason to. Oh, here it comes. Equally mad about the situation. Still, we should take out the leader first. Got him. Now you have way less action, and a lot of people who are mad at you. I'm gonna heal my teammate, though. Gotcha. He sounds so begrudging. I gave him a bitchy voice on purpose. I want I want the voices to kind of be all over the place. So he looks. Thank you. Ah. Uh. He's very snide. I think I made him some kind of noble or something. He's like a mouth like a Malfoy more or less. And then of course you have the very excitable medic that's like compliment me. Is what perfection looks like. Yeah, he's, he's very full of himself, which I find amusing. Let's get some more strength and add it in there. Oh, no and then vitality up. Do so we have some agility and vitality? No constitution. That would help a bit with the hardiness. So maybe we'll focus on that next. Good news is people are now level 9. So we've, we've met the, the recommended level for starting the mission. So I think we're at three nines? No, everyone's nine. So yeah, everyone's made it up now. Uh, the mage is noticeably ahead of everyone else. Uh, he's just the least likely to die. That's why I made him the leader in the first place. He'll keep our AP safe. I want to check out what's in this chest. Not bad. Divine fragment. Is that a shortcut? Nope. Just dead end. Sad, sad dead end. Oh, there's a medic up here. That I don't need. Although there might be a story here. <laughs> One after another. There you are! Wait, wait! We're not the enemy! Oh, I thought you might be more cool forces. No, it's just us. Lower your sword. So, your squad came here too? 
Unfortunately, I don't have time to entertain you all today. Good thing we didn't ask then. Why are you guys at these ruins anyway? There was a report that Teterva was sighted in these ruins. That's what we're here to investigate. That can't be. After hiding for so long, why would she show herself now? Teterva? Teterva is a descendant of the Uldane Imperial family and the leader of Uld. She's currently traveling with the enemy squad conducting illegal digging operations. It seems our objectives align. Follow me if you'd like, just don't get in my way. Damn, I tell you, that guy's a loose cannon. Boss, let's chase after him. We can't let him hog all our prestige now, can we? Let's go make a mess. Don't, no need to visit the healer right now. In fact, might as well just take this. No, it's not a game trail. Surprise. Hello, friend. You're supposed to be challenging. Let's find out just how challenging that is, because so far, not a big deal. Level 9, old army. Oh. It's just two boulder users, two barrel throwers. Ow! Am I poisoned? Turn damage. What is that from, exactly? Oh well, I'm healthy. Enough. At least. I should probably take out this guy first. Whoop. What I just oh I oh I touched the, ju the touchpad so I tried to do something else. Hi. Bye. Problem number one down. Hi. Nope, not quite. Didn't. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So two down. I thought purples were supposed to be tougher. These guys don't seem like they'd be tougher at all. It's only two characters with a little buffer with them. I don't see what would be inherently hard about it. Can I make it a reach? I cannot. Uh, let's throw poison mist. That's uh, there we go. Ow! Oh, how did that hit him? I thought it was all right. Fine. I thought I was finally in the right spot to make that not happen for once. I was mistaken. There we go. This'll go well. Oh, he's resistant, resistant to frost so far. Or probably magic in general. Huh. Yes, barrels. I'll never get past those. Uh-oh. Okay, more worrying than I, I was expecting, but still. I, I, so I don't... I gotta be careful how I move or I'll put my other characters in the poison mist. Alright, well, it's just on me now. I'll just have to accept that. No! I wanted to... Oh, crap. Oh, well. We'll self-heal a little bit. And guard. I meant to down attack. Didn't didn't proc this time. Or not, not proc. It, uh, it wasn't lined up properly, and I just assumed it was. And then I wasted my turn. It happens every now and then. Although, unlike most times where someone just says it happens, like it's they're resigned to it, uh, it's actually still my fault. <laughs> Alright, that, that guy down. I could heal. What's down here? Is there any reason to go- Oh, right, the cache. Is there a- There we go. Let's go check this out. There's also surprise invisible enemies to watch out for. But hey, look at these- look at all this. Yummy. Got him. Alright. Wrong button. By going back. Got it. Skills Blizzard. If I got it, I should use it, right? It damages him. And we still have a ton of turns to keep going. Before we get into actual trouble. Hello. Alright. Uh, this might have been one reason to save up. So I, did, so I don't get destroyed by this. Whoa there. It's going to be pretty hard to walk through this quicksand. And so on. How do you want to handle this? Caution. Three turns. That's fine. Hi.
That was expected at that point. Old army level 9. Oh, they got a flag. But not very many units. My face! Not my face! Okay, he gets a turn first, so... I don't know. Have, have fun attacking the air over there. In all reality, they probably they might hit the mage before, if the, depending on the range of that attack. So it could it could still be effective. Ow! All right, I know who I'm healing. Nope, didn't hit the mage. It was a genuine whiff. Um. I should probably just take care of this threat right now. Nice back attack opportunity to take advantage of. And they were just nice enough to expose themselves to me. I can aim this just right in the middle here. There we go. A little better. Admittedly kind of making myself vulnerable in the process, but with Rock Rise I can probably make a real mess of this guy right here. That looked like it sucked. Oh, and this will finish him off. There we go. Now it's just the leader and no one else. He, he might be able to do some damage, but there's no follow-up. Nah, that's all he's got. Got him. Hits her attack and back attack and bonus damage against leaders. Never stood a chance. And we're actually healing back up the max just from the TP. Alright, being slightly, slightly below recommended level and, and then catching up with it does not seem to be much of a problem for the difficulty. I might even be tempted to try the next one, which will probably be an even higher recommended level. I want to say they went... I want to say they went 4, 7, 9? So there's a very good chance the next one will be 10, 11. I'd, I'd been on 11, probably. Whoa, enemy tiny dragon. And it might... I might be able to get away with it. It's a stone dragon. I have no idea what it is or what it does. Hi, leader. Bye, leader. <laughs> Can I reach the stone dragon from here? Not really. Let's take out this character instead. Got him. Alright, let's find out what a stone dragon does. Hopefully it starts very slowly charging an attack so I can take him out before it happens. Nope. What does a dragon do that's made of stone? It poisons you. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Please don't hit my teammate. Ah, never quite works out, does it? It's so far out of range. Alright. Alright. Be very careful here. A little bit of knockback damage, but we mostly got away with it. And 9% heal will help, but it won't quite fix up our rogue. Unfortunately, we're not even close to hitting level 10. So there's not much hope of leveling over the course of this run to be ready for the next one, unless we get a really big... Well, we will get an experience bonus. So that's something to look forward to. Weird little region over there. I guess that's, those, are the pot, that, those must be the ruins they were talking about. I should go fight that guy just to go find the treasure down here. Hey, buddy. We have a ton of turns left, after all. And if I get- how do I keep this going? Oh, here come the dragons. Oh, yep. The different color. Is that significant? Stone Dragon A, Stone Dragon B. That one has less hit points. They both have less hit points, the one on the front's the tough one. I wonder if there's different classes of Stone Dragon. If I go from that- if I go from that- Location, the rogue can just hop right in and follow up with more attacks. And then they're leaderless. And if she survives this next turn, I can heal her. But she might not. The poison is bad. It's not a good thing to have happen. Oh, they're, they're dividing. They're going divide and conquer on us. Alright, let's go fix her up. Heal. 
thankfully the heal is very reliable and seems to always cover the exact range it, it gives me. So at least that I seem to be able to rely on. Let's see. Let's try to make good use of this carefully. There we go. Fantastic. That's exactly when I want to see assist pop up. Now we're down to the last guy, and we have to, and both of our melee characters get a turn, so the chances are pretty low. Hello. Got him. That aerial combo is no joke when it lands. So those are so the, it's no joke about them being stone dragons. They actually fall apart like like knocked over gargoyles when you defeat them, which is morbid. But hey, they're. Not even, they're not even listed as creatures or monsters, they're listed, they're listed as demons. Which narrows down whether or not they're redeemable or not. Thankfully. Not there we go. I would like to use Blizzard again. I used up what I had for that. It would've been nice to use Blizzard again for the purpose of, uh... What's over here? Spirited Ale? Would've been nice to use Blizzard just to take out the enemy more, but I think... Yeah, there's no more there's no more signs to deal with ahead of here. It's just that the next objective. And I don't think that counts. How's our health doing again? We're totally fine. All right. Is this max charge to buff herself? Gotcha. And then use our supplies to fill out that morale again. There we go. Now let's go make a mess. Excellent work, Corona. We finished releasing the last Guardian Beast. Grandmother, do we really have to do this? Must I remind you again of your duty as a blood descendant of Uldain? Would you deny the citizens of Uld their long-awaited dream? It's fine for now. The guild's minions will soon be upon us. Our work here is finished. We must leave at once. Stop right there, Teterva! Here already? You children are fast. I don't know what you're all planning, and I don't care. You're coming with me. I decline. I have no desire to be captured by one of the guild's dogs. So you had soldiers lying in wait. These old soldiers have us outnumbered, boss. I think we have no choice but to fight alongside these White Wolf mercs. What's this? More minions of the guild. Captain, the illegally dug up artifacts are in that supply wagon over there. Ah, I see. You're after the relics we've excavated. I must punish thieves who seek to take what does not belong to them. On! Present. Dispose of them. As you wish. I feel bad. I don't want to fight Braun. He's like my favorite Game of Thrones character. So am I going to have White Wolves on my team? As extra units? It doesn't seem like it. I seem to still be stuck with four units. I thought we were fighting alongside the White Wolves, so what's the point of that? Where's my teammates? This, this should be adding them into those two reserve slots in my formation. Unless that's about to happen as a scripted event. Although, basically zero scripted events have happened during battles so far, I think, in this game. I don't know if scripted events really are a thing. That's a lot of shields pointing my way. What a pain in the ass. Alright. A little bit of health won't help, won't hurt. I think the only real option is just to wail on him, really. There we go. He took- he still took the hit hard. No small deal. Let's see here. Oh, I can't switch with you because you're in defense mode, huh? Right. Alright. Switching would have been nice because then I could have gotten past him and ambushed somebody from behind. Just gonna have to do this then. Make it count? Yes! She's so strong that it just works out anyway. 
Um, if I can do this just right, I can make this count. Come on. There we go. Oh wow! Actually, they actually have a they actually have a powerful uh, block. That's uncommon. Let's get let's try to get their leader here. Damage happened. Oh, thank goodness. Leader's down. Right? Yeah. I realized the last second I might be presuming too much because it sometimes doesn't doesn't work out. But that that uh. That assisted 80 damage. It's probably enough. I don't want to be standing in front of whatever that is. Oh, they're both doing it. Oh, I'm not going to get a turn in time either. Well, I'm probably saying goodbye to that character. I'm pretty sure she's standing directly in the range of that attack. Wow, you hit everything. You just killed your teammate. <laughs> Inappropriate. I, I like I like player grit quite a bit. Among other things, it just it primes you to actually get to get experience. If you can get the person to survive, even if they're not useful for the rest of the fight, at the very least you can get them to gain bonus experience for surviving that they wouldn't get otherwise. And experience is like the whole one of the main things we're trying to get here. So having people get taken out early sucks. Hi there. Thankfully, I have a bonus against people like you. Alright, let's try to heal her up. Admittedly, I heal this one specific character a lot. But it's worth it, because she she's the one character that can pretty consistently take down anybody in one turn. You just gotta keep her on active on the field all the time, which is not always easy. Slightly closer. Yeah, there we go. Mash that button. Oh, that's all I had? Bummer. Oh, is it my turn already? Oh, cool. I thought they might get a chance to go first. Misread the meter. I, I guess I just misread the meter down there. Got him. Ooh. And we got a level up from that. All level 10. All according to plan. Now our meters are going to build a little faster. It's a good time for all. Han may be old, but he is one of the three masters of Ulg. For you to defeat his troops. That's what you get for underestimating us. Now we have you surrounded. Ah! The artifacts, they're still in the wagon. Grand Matron, the princess, while there's still time. Come along, Corona. Damn it! That bastard set the horse running! Our alliance ends here. We'll chase them down. Captain, let's go after that supply wagon! Alright, let's have a sweet jog. I assume this will be leading up to the final battle. Easy, easy. It finally calmed down. Jeez, they really put us through the ringer. Captain, we've finished checking the artifacts. They appear to be mostly undamaged. Though I'd like to rest, I'm certain that Old's forces are caught on our trail. Let's leave this area at once and return to the guild. All right, looks like our job here is done. I hope Vice and his men are safe. With their skill, I'm sure they're fine. Boss, let's head home and wait for them back at the guild. I'm curious. The, uh, this might be the central conflict of the entire story, is dealing with this other kingdom. The old... So I've heard that the main story is actually relatively short, and there's actually, like... As the, after that, there's supposed to be, like, several campaigns for each of the other, uh, of the factions you can join for war. Wow, everyone leveled up again. Nice. More strength or more con? More hit points would be good. Mainly, especially since one of the, most of my healing is percentage-based, so I, if I get a nice, deep hit point pool for my melee characters, they might be a lot more dangerous. Needle Trap! I'll finally get to learn what, 
I was trying to get to learn what that does exactly. Alright, everyone's level 10. Not bad for a mission where most of us started at level 8. Did you hear, boss? Old forces are launching an attack on the guild! I knew they were dangerous, but have they ever done something like this before? No. To my knowledge, this is the first time anything like this has ever happened. I've never heard of them attempting such a large-scale invasion. We're just mercenaries, not soldiers loyal to a nation. Boss, what are we getting ourselves into? The guild leader has summoned the captains of each mercenary squad. Please report to the round table at once. I'll explain the situation right away. I'm sure you're all aware that Ul has their blades pointed at us. They have us surrounded, and our scouts report sightings of numerous enemy armaments. Our supply lines have been cut off, and we're short on supplies to begin with. With the enemy at our gates, we can't wait on a siege. Our only option is to face them in open combat. So I ask you, will you entrust me with your lives? However, this is not an order. If you choose to go to war, accept the quest and join us on the front line. That is all. Dismissed! Well, this will be interesting to know about. Oh, Jesus. This dialogue does not really fit what just happened. The boozy drink after a job well done is, oh, is something else. The drink is much needed to ensure the excellence of our next job. He's all psyched and happy and stuff, but like bad things are happening everywhere. Boss, do you look at the Grimoire shelf from the item shop? It seems they sell a Grimoire that teaches a healing skill anyone can use. Sounds convenient. That's about it for the report. Now then, boss. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm curious. Pacing-wise... If you suddenly have a siege on the gate, it would make sense to make the next mission possible to do immediately. Ah, uh, close enough, I'd say. I was a little worried that I might have to do grinding first, which would kind of break the can- It would kind of feel, feel like it would break the story a little bit if I had to grind first, because... It's like, they're on our gate! We have to take them on now! Accept the quest! And it's like, ah, uh, no, I'm a little underleveled. I'm gonna have to go grind out of the war. I'm just gonna leave somehow, even though we're under siege. It's like, no, we're-, we're I'm, I, I call a timeout on the, just the siege. I need to level up first before we do this. All right, so I should be capable of doing that. I'm, I'm level 10. It's level 11. Probably close enough. All right, grabbing a blacksmith for the sake of it. She has a C boost for strength, which seems like an awful great place to have a bonus for a melee character. See, I'm still I'm still checking out every now and then to see when I, whenever decent bonuses show up, which is rare. But even and even these aren't the best. A C and stuff like that. Bees are super rare. It happened again. So everyone's gonna get three or four more offensive power here. Because the next wave of equipment is in, is uh, level 10. So we, last upgrade was level 8. These are level 10. Relatively relatively frequent, actually. But I'm gonna... I'm sticking to it just to try, try to keep them competitive. And it seems to be working so far. 